I have to ask you first and foremost, how heavy are those earrings? They're actually right? not as heavy as you would think, <laughs> I promise. Like super light and yes. fabulous, right? Well, you look really pretty. I was like, the earrings are just like... star of our film. Thanks, Courtney. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your favorite memory from shooting? Like, what's something cool that happened on set? Um, something cool that happened your on favorite set. Favorite memory? Uh, my favorite memory would honestly be um, working with Steve Gaynor, who is an incredible cinematographer. Yeah. He was able to connect us with Quixote Studios, and he it was able to give us a trailer that was living in this desert of like nothingness. And so Courtney was able to work in like a Wi-Fi space with like a printer and like an incredible makeup area. And honestly. That was like a highlight production-wise, I'm thinking as a producer, but as an actor, it was really, really cool to work with the actors that we had cast and just work for those four days and like live in the moment of Kennedy Barnes, who was the character that I portrayed, and just kind of live in that truth of her. So honestly, just being creative in that four days was the best thing that I could ever ask for. How did you go, so I have a background in production, like how did you go from being a producer, having that mindset, to being, you know, acting and creative, like how do you go back and forth between the two? Please teach me. Oh, that is a good question. That is a struggle. <laughs> like, I will, yeah. Yes, and in, in her defense, like, she was the lead, so she was able to, like, once the film started, sort of just be about the film. Yes. I was a cameo in the film, but It was still the main a very producer, difficult role. She was a newscaster but, and had a lot of dialogue. But so. that's what's funny, because, yeah. like, literally, like, the first day of shooting was the day that I had to shoot my scenes. So, it's sort of like, everything's going crazy and mm -hmm. figuring it out. She's having but people then, sign paperwork. Signing paperwork, <laughs> pulling people on set, and then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, you're you're up. Like, it's your time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> put on, put, girl, put on a wig, put on some makeup up and get on set in front of a green steering and you're a reporter and you have to do this yeah. and they even changed the lines at that point and I didn't know because I had been back doing other stuff and like doing it on the cuff I yeah. mean in the end it's just training like you have to roll back to what you've been trained to do and I'm trained as an actor and trained yeah. to like rise to the occasion so you have to don't don't play with them classes, y'all. You they, have they're to go important. to class. It's so, very important. important. Claybank Studio. That was like <laughs> Clay our Clay like, Clay Studios platform. is how we met. So that's where and. you. It forces you to step up and be like, okay, I gotta forget what I was just like signing SAG paperwork and making yeah. under, people understand taxes yeah. and be present in the right. moment and do get it done. Yeah. I admire both of you because I feel like the whole time I'm trying to remember my lines yeah, and exactly. figure out if they sign their timesheet. Like I just yeah. don't. <laughs> you know what it's like. Exactly. Exactly. Well, congratulations to both of you guys. Can you tell us more about the film? For yes. Sure. Um, so the film is about, it's an origin story. We wanted to do a sort of female superhero sort of grounded in the real world. Yes. We were fascinated by the idea of what's really going on that's real life and that's sex trafficking, especially in Los Angeles, which is a hub of sex trafficking for people that don't know yeah. um, and young women that are really affected by it even through social media that's how they're sort of groomed and sort of found to move into this world and we sort of wanted to tell a story of how that happens and how as a woman this character Miss Kennedy Barnes <laughs> um, figures out that like her sister was sort of drawn into this world and mm -hmm. murdered is the story of the film and how she exacts her revenge upon that and that we need to be aware that this is happening around us in real life in real time in Los Angeles people in Los in Angeles LA, like it's yes. around the corner yes. from us and yeah. it's happening every single day and she exacts her revenge in a way that maybe you know we all don't Might need to do but, you know for, for heightened <laughs> movie purposes but yeah. it's something that she took action and we wanted to do a film about a woman taking action and she's a woman that took action and decided to exact justice the way that she felt necessary. I love it. How did you prepare for this? Because I'm sure this was super emotional. So oh, yeah. take us through that process. Um, I myself have never had any kind of uh, interaction with sexual assault, but I've had a few friends of mine that I was able to kind of talk with them and see, you know, how their energy was towards the subject. Mm -hmm. um, and. Honestly, I have a sister myself, so having that connection, the sisterly connection of losing a sister was very easy for me to kind of have that emotion. Um, but honestly, without class, like we talked about earlier in our interview, it, it would not be as full 
Um, I think the performance was really helpful by my coach, Clay Banks. He was able to help me workshop certain, certain pieces, certain moments that allowed me to push through and realize like the actual raw energy of the scene itself and it's hard as like producers like you said you know as making something making sure the lights right and making sure that like Courtney has things signed for people and like she's also focused on what she's gonna wear for that day and all of those things that like sometimes that energy can help you know with like the hostility of certain scenes and it's also one of the things where training comes into play and so journaling story you know storyboarding in my head you know not as like director but like storyboarding like how I really truly feel from beat to beat and moment to moment is honestly like how I feel like I grounded myself with all that was going on and it takes time and energy but honestly hard work does pay off and it's been two years now two and a half years that we that we shot it and finally completed it about a year ago and seeing my work it's one of those things where I'm I'm looking forward to growing and shaping into like an actor that I am and uh, it's one of those things where I'm just really excited to be here and <laughs> just very happy that we were acknowledged Absolutely. Well, congratulations to both of you Thank it's you. like I as a woman who's in production and in inter, 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 yeah, entertainment <laughs> um, it's just amazing to see like women who are taking charge and creating stories that you know really need to be shared so thank you guys thank you both and yes. congratulations thank you. thank you for having us thank you yes.